If you know that you have a love for music, don't deny yourself the pleasure of enjoying it and really learning what it's all about because these are the best years to learn about singing. I like to sing and sometimes it's better to sing in the choir than sing in the shower. I just like singing. I think it's relaxing and I think it's fun. On the first day of school, I can see it on incoming freshman faces that they have been in other classes throughout their day not knowing hardly anyone in those classes and choir they walk in the door and already they're hugging and seeing friends and 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 laughing and having a good time it's important to have a group that you associate yourself with and this is definitely my group everyone's there to support you and wants to see you succeed Currently, there is not an audition for middle school students. You can sign up to be in choir, and uh, all incoming freshmen go into women's chorus or into men's chorus, regardless of skill level or entry level. You learn it when you get here. You don't have to worry about coming in knowing everything, because tons of people do it, and they're fine, and they're in the upper choirs now, so it's just about taking the time to do it. Choir is a great elective for those people who are wishing to be athletes at the high school. You get to meet a whole new group of people and you get to enjoy yourself as well. And if you like to do choir and you're doing sports, but considering dropping choir, don't do it because you're going to regret it. So I had three electives my freshman year and it was completely doable. I'm so busy. Yeah, she does like <laughs> theater, choir, yeah. track, cross country. I have like a club every single day. I do. I do a lot of stuff, but I mean, it's so worth it. If you were to look across our classes, you would see a wide spectrum from students who are involved in drama to students who are athletes to students who are involved in student leadership. It's a huge array of students, and it's probably one of the most diverse classes in that sense on campus. The choir is full of really like intelligent people and people of all sorts, like athletes, strict music, like music majors, or just people who are there just to sing and have a relief in their day. I think choir is a nice kind of creative outlet for me, you know, in such a academically strict day. It's nice to be able to just come and sing for an entire period. The only thing we have in common is that we love music, but other than that, we're just all over the place and it's really fun. It's a great break from the rigors of the whole academic day to come see your friends and spend an hour singing and making music together. When I started, I was definitely like, just like this shy little person inside of a shell. Like I was like, oh my god, like let's just let them sing. Like when he calls on s individual sections, I'm like, oh, let these guys go up. I don't want to do it. And I was really scared. I was really timid. I even thought that like, I couldn't be a good singer. It was kind of scary, to be honest. But like once I got into it, it was like, oh, like this is kind of fun. Okay, like, oh, let me try this now. Let me try this now. And like, oh, I want to start being a leader. I want to take the lead here. I want to you know, to be section leader. It's, it's acquired, but you really enjoy it once you get into it. What I want students to get from this program is, first of all, the sense of community and family. Is that we're all in this, on this road together, in this path. Music just happens to be the tool we use to keep that community together and to build those relationships. Uh, there's such a great sense of camaraderie in a choir that actually you just really can't find anywhere else. Like on any sports team, like yeah, you have that sense of like, you know, togetherness, but I feel like it's more here than anywhere else. The secondary goal is that students are leaving here with a skill, are leaving here knowing more about the human voice, knowing more about what music is, uh, it, all its diversity, from popular to music that was written in the fifth century, and that they are literate musicians, that they can look at the notes on the page and turn it into music on their own. Now I can really understand, you know, the dynamics and the I'm learning key signatures and just all the, the technical aspects of the music. We learn a sense of music history here. Like he actually teaches us, you know, where it comes from, what it means, and the significance, you know, the historical significance of everything we do. He is there for the students. He's there to see them succeed. The biggest thing I learned from him is to step out of your comfort zone. 
I think for guys especially, it, could, it builds a lot of confidence once you do it for long enough because like all of a sudden it's like, whoa, I have to sing in front of these people and now it's like, oh, singing. It is a magical moment when the kids finally put the finishing touches on a piece of music and everything clicks and, uh, and you can see it in their faces that they know that they belong here and, and that they're creating memories that they will take with them for a lifetime. I come into the choir room and just like my mood entirely changes once class is over because just the music that we create in this room is just amazing. I love it. I'm a runner so whenever I run and I like finish a race and like you know everyone's cheering your name and like you won the race and you know you just have that great feeling like that's the way you should feel at the end of a great performance you know when we hear like the final chord it diminish and, and then you hear the applause like it's the same feeling of ecstasy like everyone's just like cheering for you and you know you did well. You have that great spike in volleyball you make that slam dunk and you have that just that high and it's so cool and you feel great afterward and you just notice yourself playing better after you've made that great thing you have positive energy and it's that kind of thing in choir when you have that chord that comes together and it's perfectly in tune and it's just ooh it's like chill down your spine kind of a thing the most satisfying moment for me when I'm teaching is the moment when I can see it in a kid's eyes that they can do it themselves that they when it clicks that they finally look at that piece of music and go oh I know what this means. I can figure this out. I can do it. Sight reading, it's, it sounds like a daunting task, but it's really not. I mean, it's almost, I, I'm almost surprised myself when I look through a piece of music and I'm like, wow, I've never seen this and I just sang it almost perfectly. The idea that choir is nerdy, yeah, it kind of is. Like, I'm totally a choir nerd, but once you're in that environment of choir nerds, it doesn't matter anymore because you're around people who are feeling the exact same thing as you, the need to sing, the urge to, and the love of the music that they're singing. If you have a remote interest in singing, if you've been a singer forever, uh, if you sing in a rock band, if you uh, have friends that sing, we want you in this program. Great music, great people, great conductor, great performances, it's just... A great place to be. I cannot express enough how how important it is to find something that you love and really go with it and for me it was choir and I find that if you have a passion for singing just join it it's so fun and you'll have you'll make so many new friends and you'll just have the time of a lifetime. It makes me happier. I don't know how but it just makes me feel more joyful and smile a lot more be part of this amazing experience, make new friends, and find a new home at Samuel High.